I just love this busy baking and candy making time of the year. When I was a little girl, my Auntie Eleanor used to make these, what she called boiled chocolate cookies. And they were my favorite Christmas treat because she only made them at Christmas time. And I thought she was the only one in the world who made these. And as I got older, I realized actually this recipe is kind of a classic. I call them no-bake chocolate cookies. And I've changed them a little bit because I have grandchildren who need to be gluten-free and dairy-free. And so this recipe now is something that they can enjoy too. And I'll show you how easy they are. First of all, I've got all my ingredients measured out because it goes so fast, you need everything ready to go. I am going to start by putting some coconut oil into a sauce pot. And I've got a third of a cup here. I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of cocoa powder. And the reason I'm using coconut oil rather than butter is the dairy-free thing. I've got three-fourths cup of sugar and then just third of a cup of some nut milk, any kind of nut milk. I'm using almond milk today. I'm going to put this on the stove, turn it on high heat and stand there, don't go away. And once it comes to a hard boil, meaning that the bubbles that start along the edges move all the way to the middle and it's boiling hard, then set your timer for one minute. Once your timer rings, get that mixture off of the stove and add one third cup of peanut butter. You can use creamy or chunky and then just stir it until it's melted. You might have to just kind of mash it a little bit, stir it up. And then I've got my oats measured, one and a half cups of oats. And you know, the recipes are always on our website, so you can go and get the exact measurements there too. Dump this in, and you have to work a little bit quickly because it's going to start to firm up as soon as it starts to cool. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and once this is mixed up, they're good to go if you want. But sometimes I like to add some coconut because I love coconut. You could add dried fruit or some chopped nuts. And then just take, I like to use a little portion scooper because then they're all about the same size. In 20 to 30 minutes, you'll have no-bake chocolate cookies ready to eat and ready to share. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.